All right, guys, welcome. So what I'm trying to do today is, or what I'm going to do is, I'm going to put some varnish on my paintings. I think it will be a great video for you to watch and, and learn some tips about how to put high gloss uh, finish on your paintings. It will bring the colors up, and I guess the best way for you to see is just see what I'm going to do. Um, I'm going to show you two different paintings, so what I do. So this painting in particular, as you can see over here, has, the, it's very textured. I'm going to put my finger in here, so I'm not sure if you can see that. So I can, you can even go through inside of the painting. So what I did was I used some kind of mixed media or mixed materials. I used simple painting, that sort of painting that you paint walls in houses and it has some acrylic on it. So this is pretty much what you can see. So it's very textured. Yep, now the next one is, is this one, it's semi-textured. It has also some kind of texture on it because I, this is pretty much what I'm doing now. I like to put some texture and I don't, I don't know, I guess um, it communicates or give you a message of, uh, um, I don't know, something more passionate about your strokes and things that you want to show to people and communicate in your art. So, yeah, so let's just have a look. Uh, it should be very simple, very simple process. Um, I'm, I'm thinking, I'm, I don't think I'm going to promote any high gloss varnish. I just simply, this one I just bought in the local store. I'm pretty sure you can get any kind of brand, any art supplier's brand. Uh, uh, they sell high gloss varnish. I don't think that's an issue. Um, you just, what I suggest is just perhaps get one small painting or one painting you want to try on and try different brands. But yes, yeah, so again, so I don't think there's any, any point in promoting any specific product. So very simple because this is abstract and it's textured. Uh, I have the freedom of going in different directions with my paintings. So yeah, let's just start. So what I'm going to do is just simply going to put a little bit on it just as you paint. Try not to put so much in the brush, on the brush. And yeah, let's just start painting. So uh, as you can see, I'm just going to put a little bit on it in here and then simply go like that from right to left, right to left. And as I was saying before, you have the freedom of going in different directions with these abstract paintings, with these texture paintings that you have. Um, I'm thinking of doing a flat painting later on in another video. So for you to have a look how you're gonna put on a flat painting, which is obviously a different process. But for the meantime, you can actually see on it. Um, you can see it's a lot of bubbles. Um, and it seems like it's a little bit white and you might think oh that's gonna change the colors of the painting and not at all this will dry up and it's gonna look very very cool actually uh, try to put it on the top everywhere you can see trying to um, cover every single area of your painting and yeah basically it's that and as you can see it's, it has a lot of bubbles in there just try to get rid of the bubbles trying to uh, go in different directions so you can uh, put your uh, varnish uh, like you spread out evenly around the painting all yeah, right so here for instance you can see um, a big of a painting here some acrylic I put before so I'm gonna put a little bit more I'm gonna be more generous with my strokes and yeah it's just very cool it's actually very relaxing putting this thing and so I guess the one way to see is you're gonna have to look the before and after to see what is the result of it um, and that's it so uh, as you can see my stroke is going in a different direction I'm pretty much doing or varnishing this on the way I was painting it so I was going I'm going up and down now because that's, that's how I uh, did my previews um, or it's how I painted it before I went in this direction and as you can see now, it's a lot of bubbles, and but don't worry about it. So you just simply go in a different direction, trying to get rid of the bubbles, and trying to more, make a more even kind of um, finish. I go to the sides as well, and yeah, so it's very cool. All right, so let's keep on going down, and 
And that's it. I think it's very straightforward. Um, in doing this varnish, it's actually uh, it's a very enjoyable process. It's a very important process. So as you can see again, it's a number of bubbles in here. So I just simply go on top of it. I'm not gonna put more on it. I'm happy with it because obviously that means I put a fair amount around heat. So I just simply go as the stroke um, were before. And yeah, so basically it's that. Uh, I'm very excited about this. This is one of my paintings, one of my favorite paintings. And I need a little bit of touch. Uh, obviously, obviously, as you know, and perhaps you have heard this a number of times, you need, you need to let your paints dry really, really well. Um, I painted this, this one, I will say, when was that? I'm just losing track of time. I have to check the time. I think three years ago, actually. Oh, wow, time flies by. And, yeah, so... Um, very happy with this one. I was able to exhibit this before um, on an exhibition. And um, as, the time, as time goes by now, well, I would like to preserve it. Uh, as I said before, it's one of my favorite paintings. And uh, well, what I'm trying to do is I'm gonna show some tutorials or some videos about how to uh, put some varnish on your paintings. So they can last pretty much forever, you know, I guess for your lifetime. And um, so, yes, yeah, so my, um, why high gloss? Well, as I said before, I'm trying to use a lot of textures what I've been using in the, uh, I don't know, in the last five years. And, and I guess high gloss will bring all the colors up, will pop the colors up out of your paintings. And yeah, it looks, it'll give you a different kind of finish. I used to use some kind of flat finished, flat finishes, but well, I guess it depends who you ask. Um, that could be for more realistic kind of paintings or paintings that, um, yeah, I don't know. It depends on the, it depends on the artist or whatever finish they want to portray or use. But um, I guess it's just come to a personal reference. I can see, I see some amazing, amazing artists they paint some realistic figures of the human body and and they use high gloss uh, but again so that comes to a personal um, like all right so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to let it dry i'm going to finish this one uh, and then we're going to go to the most texture one um, the most texture one is going to be a bit different i'm not sure if you are into that sort of stuff using different kind of media or, or materials. Um, I think that's one of the good things with abstract art that you, it is for you to experiment, to be free and, and to be able to express and convey meaning with your strokes, with your colors and your experimentation. Um, so yeah, so let's finish this one a little bit quickly here. We're just gonna go uh, generous with our um, strokes in here and very simple I just use a little bit simply go um, on top of the paint on top of the of the structure here well here you have to put a little bit more because as you can see here is more texture so it's a bit of like a little mountain of color so cool so nice um, so again this media is just simply uh, acrylic I click on canvas, um, yeah, and I love this, doing this sort of stuff, so cool. I hope you enjoy, I think the most important part with painting and art is that you're able to enjoy, that you, that you do this, um, I don't know, as a kind of form to express anything you feel like expressing, you know, so cool. All right, so I'm gonna go at the bottom in here, almost finishing the painting. And yeah, so let's go in here. And I'm gonna go to the bottom. Um, this one is actually, um, this one is called Layers of Entendimiento, which is a Spanish word. It's pretty much different layers that you have in your thoughts and um, when your life to, um, to express who you are as a person, you know? And, and again, so I use dif different colors. And this one is actually called the Blue Sea. Or El Mar Azul in Spanish. 
Uh, yep. And I love the ocean, and that's why I was trying to express um, that sense of of uniqueness that the water brings you, and and also kind of takes you to a different level in your thoughts. All right, so this is very cool and coming to an end. Um, I'm gonna turn the painting, so I'm gonna put it at the bottom. Um, I can do that later, actually, I'm not gonna worry right now. I think that's the good thing of, of painting abstract. That I don't really have to be very strict with my with my processing here. It's gonna let it dry here. I think that will be the best process. And that's it. All right, guys, so it's gonna go on top a little bit, trying to make this even. And yeah, actually it looks very cool. So um, you can see this is the after, and this is the before. If you just come over here, so this is the before and this is the after. I guess the, um, the best way, if we can just move back a little bit, the best way is to see the before and after, after, I don't know, two weeks or even months. So I'm going to show you, put, a, put another video about it. So yeah, no worries. Thanks for watching. Bye.